Hi guys, I thought I'm doing a little bit of a review for the new rig and videography as well as photography for prosumers in Singapore. Right now it's 31 degrees Celsius, extremely hot weather, very bright, cloudy and expecting it to be raining uh, quite soon. So I'm actually on my gimbal right now, a, a Feiyu FR2000 with Alpha 7 Mark III and a 50mm 1.8 lens. I'm not using any walking techniques or any ninja walk on this gimbal right at this moment. I'm just walking as per usual, like any father, mother, son, doing a road march on Orchard Road. Okay guys, we are in uh, indoor in um, Orchard Central right now in Tokyo Hands, We're doing some indoor recording. Um, white balance set to auto and ISO at 200. But once again, 50mm f1.8, um, continuous autofocus. Um, I'm using Peter Box um, color profile right at this moment. The reason why there are so many horizontal jerkings was because I did not pre balance the camera perfectly. Cast and motors are doing a lot of correction works. All the footage is taken using the A7 III was straight out of the memory card without any post-processing work. So what's my verdict at the end of the day? Uh, going out to shoot for roughly about two and a half hours or two to three hours. Um, the battery on the gimbal was uh, down by one bar and uh, it is really really tiring to hold the gimbal with just a single pistol grip. Um, I suppose that if you're going out for long hours of shoot um, you will need to, uh, the dual handle. Well for the pistol grip wise I think it's very suitable if you're going out for like a 30 minute shoot and kind of uh, a short scene or anything that you need more portability over a long hours of usage. Okay, in this scene here, I'm trying out with the ninja walk. All right, now let's try something a little bit more fun and interesting to play around um, the slow motion. Well, I'm actually capturing this scene at 120 frames per second and playback at 30. So meaning is actually four times slower than the usual. Having multiple thread holes, the A2000 is capable of mounting all sorts of accessories. I tried it with my Tascam DR05 mic and it looked really awesome. Well, mounting it on a tripod enables for a higher shooting angle, but make sure your tripod head is locked tight in its position. As for the pros and cons for the gimbal. Pros. First point, price. Second point, control on the dual grip. Third point, the build quality. The fourth point, customer's feedbacks are taken seriously. Fifth point, new tripod fit. Sixth point, it can be switched easily to a different grip. Seventh point, the quick release blade. The eighth point, the thread holes for accessories. Now for the cons, there's too much grease on the hinges. Second point, it's not completely reliable right out of the box. The motors need to be calibrated. Third point, the knobs loosen quite easily. The fourth point, the case wasn't a hard case, it was a soft case and uh, with the material it's prone to get wet. Now before you detach your camera or switch your grip, remember one thing, off the gimbal, otherwise you'll risk damaging the motors on the balancing arms. After the gimbal is off, you can safely do whatever you want with it, be it detach your camera or switch the grip or recalibrate it. to operate the gimbal with a smartphone is extremely helpful. It connects fast and it doesn't seem to have any problem even when I'm 3 meters away. 
Well, this marks the end of my very first video review and I hope that my feedbacks could be of some use to you when it comes to making the right decision. Well, see you again, folks.